Thanksgiving time, right? It's supposed to be one of the busiest times of the year for the airline industry, but we have an alarming uptick in COVID-19 cases across the country. Has left many folks, their Thanksgiving plans are kind of, yeah, up in the air. Yeah, to, to say the least, yes. right? But next, our next guest says air travel is actually incredibly safe, and he is here to tell us why. CEO of Delta Airlines, Ed Bastian. Thanks for being with us again, Ed. We appreciate you always checking in with us, and we are looking at air travel. People are wondering if it's safe. JetBlue just announcing earlier that it is adding back that middle seat, so there is obviously concern concern about social distancing on planes, but you have an announcement about that middle seat on Delta Airlines today. Tell us what it is. Well, our people, first and foremost, are doing a great job, Amy, protecting the safety and the comfort of our customers as we're traveling through this difficult period. And customers are telling us that they really appreciate that. In fact, the experience our customers are having on Delta has never been better uh, for that reason. One of the reasons we are, are uh, extending, we're announcing today that we're extending uh, the middle seat block through the end of March is because customers tell us that adds confidence to their travel experience. And while travel is slow, it is steadily improving. We're expecting over the Thanksgiving holiday period starting on Friday for the next 10 days, about 2 million customers. So we'll have a, a meaningful number of customers that will be traveling on Delta, but it's still significantly off where we'd expect in normal times. Ed, I've, I've flown a couple of times and everyone seems to be very compliant with the mask situation, but that was earlier. We've been talking about this so-called pandemic fatigue. How are your employees prepared to handle people who may say, I don't wanna wear a mask, I'm not wearing a mask? Well, we, we know that masks are the single most important factor that we all have to protect not just ourselves, but to protect others. And our people are doing a great job in enforcing that policy. Uh, it, it, candidly, it's not just our, our employees are doing it, though. Fellow customers are doing it as well. Uh, we still have some customers when they get on board that refuse to wear the mask, and we're continuing to put people on no-fly lists. Right now, we have over 500 people that we've put on that list, but increasingly, people know that that's a part of the safety protocol in dealing with a, a pandemic and traveling in public. Ed, to, to your point, and, and Robach was shaking her head as well, every single flight I've gotten on, and I, I fly your airline a lot, um, you're, one of your employees has to deal with somebody refusing to put their mask on. And it's embarrassing to see, and I hate that your employees, I know you hate that your employees have to go through that, but just to, to still have to be arguing about masks right now is, is, is a shame. Are there any additional safety precautions you all are considering putting in place? I know you all have uh, put some things in place for the pandemic, but given that we're seeing a now a new uptick, are there any additional safety precautions you're considering? We're, we're just, the, the biggest one is the continuation of the middle seat block through the end of March, partly because of the, the, uh, the, the renewed surge of the virus that we're seeing uh, over the winter period of time. But we haven't, we haven't pulled back at all with our safety and cleaning protocols. Every airplane uh, gets uh, sanitized uh, with electro sp spray uh, fogging before we take off. Uh, we continue to focus on the filtration systems and their, their state of the art. Uh, and customers are, are required to wear masks. So all these things work. Uh, importantly, we don't have a single uh, documented transmission of COVID ab aboard any of our planes, you know, for this entire period of time. And we carry about a million people a week in normal times here. So, you know, I think our, our protocols are working and customers are feeling very good about, at least when they're on board the airplane, that they're safe. All right, well, we certainly appreciate you telling us exactly what Delta Airlines is doing to keep passengers safe as this travel season, uh, although not as busy as it used to be, starts to tick back up. Delta Airlines CEO, Ed Bastian, thank you so much. Be well. Thank you, Amy. You too. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. And same could, to you. Could you hear it in my voice? It's so annoying to get on a plane and see someone arguing with a flight attendant over a mask. Yeah. I, can that stop, please? Please. Just a, just a request, a friendly request. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.